haven't changed your mind about your next article? I haven't. There's no place for prostitution in a civilized society. It's a huge problem, but nobody cares about it or the women who are caught up in it. I want to start a public conversation. Their voices need to be heard or nothing will ever change. Spark any conversations you like, as long as it helps Oiretages grow. Do you have any leads? I'm meeting my first source at the Rotisclate Hotel. Keep me in the loop. Go on now. Serial killer disappears without trace. Police throw hands up. So that's the kind of journalism that sells. At least I managed to persuade Sven not to participate in this witch hunt. I shouldn't bother Uli. If there were news about Oscar, he would have called. Better keep myself busy. Time to meet my source. The address and room numbers in my notepad. Great, I found a notepad. There we go, the Rotus Clate Hotel. I make a terrible pet owner. Let me get you some milk. I found milk. You like that? I shouldn't keep my interviewee waiting. Hilda, you're in early today. Oh, Anna, you're a godsend. I have so many errands to run today. Is finally writing something, one of them. What? No, no, no. Sven's anniversary is in two days. Ah, yes. Silly me. How could that have escaped my mind? Well, I'll leave you to it. I have an interview lined up. Oh, no. Not another cycle race. The traffic during them is a nightmare. No receptionist. Guess I'll just go upstairs. I'm so sorry, miss. I'll wipe it off. Oh, no. No worries. I'd rather do it myself. Thank you. Really, it's fine. I'm really sorry. What a strange man. I'm just rubbing it in even deeper. I'll take care of this later. I should keep going. Darn, I dropped my notepad somewhere in this heap.
Great. I found a notepad. Good. Now, room... Ah, room five. Susie, it's Anna Myers. The door's unlocked. It's already noon, but she's not here yet. I'm sure Susie wouldn't mind me using the bathroom to clean my sleeve. I'll need something to clean it with. I found a towel. That'll do. I'll try another tap. Great. I found a wet towel. There. Much better. I better wait a minute. Maybe she'll turn up. I found a note card. Flowers? In a place like this? That's out of the ordinary. I'll be waiting for you at the same place, 10 a.m. She must have been held up by her date. Maybe the receptionist is back and could help me. Hello. Could you tell me where I can find Susie? Oh, Susie. She's living here? Um... She left me a note. Just a minute. Show me your note. Show me your note. She's usually working the boulevard at this hour. Oh, that's not far at all. Thank you. What a pandemonium. Did something happen? I'm sorry, miss. Restricted area. What happened here? This is an active crime scene. I can't disclose the details. Anna, what brings you here? I was passing by and came to see what all this commotion was. Nua, let Miss Myers through. Murder. Mail. Several knife wounds. Uli, wait. We haven't talked since, you know. How are you holding up? Uh, I've been better. What about you? Well, I tend to push grief away and get stuck into work. Might implode one day, but it hasn't happened yet. I know what you mean. It's been rough. You know, losing someone you look up to and finding out that somebody I trusted to have my back was actually a vicious murderer. Still, you've got to keep going. Dirk already examined the body. They're taking him to the morgue. 
damn it. Lua, move these cyclists back a bit. Yes, sir. Where are they all coming from? It's the Zuri Nets get a race this Friday. We've got cyclists swarming in from all over the country. This man doesn't look like one of them, though. Are there any witnesses? Nobody's come forward. Not yet, at least. The attack didn't happen here, by the looks of it. He was fatally wounded in the back street, but managed to drag himself here before collapsing. He was dead by the time help arrived. May I take a look? found hair clippers. Who called the medics? Gustav Meissner. You and Judith brought him in for questioning about the Dada murders. Oh, the barber. That explains the hair clippers. May I see? We'll need those as evidence. Gustav probably dropped them trying to help the victim. Did Gustav give you any leads? No. He was in shock, rambling. You'll have to question him later. I can do that. I'd like to check the body now. Of course. Go ahead. The knife's engraved. That might point to its origin. I've been to this cabaret. Maybe they'll know something about the victim there. Great. I found matches. Hmm, the gun is missing. Have you found the gun yet? Yes, it's already being examined for fingerprints and ballistics. It's been fired recently. One bullet missing. No sign of the bullet or the cartridge case yet. He could have shot the assailant, but we can't be sure. Somebody would have heard the shot. Gustav Meissner said there was no gunshot. The police are questioning local residents right now, though. I see. Any idea where the knife is from? There's nothing particularly unusual about it. An ordinary engraved kitchen knife. Dirk might be able to tell us more later. You mentioned he dragged himself here from the back street. Yes, this way. Nice to see you, Anna. Hello, dear. What do we have here? We've got a rather substantial bloodstain just there. That's likely the spot he was injured. The victim fell down and stayed there for a while. But then he must have forced himself to get up and drag himself to the street. Any footprints? Round here, it's all paving stones. But it's a good thing you asked. There's part of a footprint in the bloodstain. Does the print have any pattern? It's pretty ordinary. The shoe size is around nine and a half. Anything else? That's all I've got at the moment. I'll help you search for more clues. That'd be great.
I found a high heel. What's that? Looks like a high heel got wedged between two stones and snapped off. Somebody was in a hurry. I don't think the footprint came from this shoe. It would have left a smaller print. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Have you taken any photos of the victim? Yes, why? I'll be asking some questions around Cabaret Russo later. It would help to have a photo to show people. Drop by my lab in a couple of hours. I'll make you a copy. Right, thanks. I've got an interview lined up now. I'll get back to you. Might as well take some photos of the street, in case Sven wants an article on it. Excellent. One more. Susie's back. I should go and check. Hey, miss! Susie's in her room. Great, thanks. Hey, anybody here? Anna? Just a minute. I'll be right out. Is it broken? Hmm, I wonder, does the heel match the shoe? Perfect fit. The soles are clean. No traces of blood. I'd better let Uli know about this. Anna, be a dear and hand me my bathrobe, would you? Of course. I found the bathrobe. Have you found it? Oh, thank you very much. I'm so embarrassed. Our meeting completely slipped my mind. Oh, don't worry about it. I've had my share of hiccups today as well. Shall we get on with the interview? Thanks for your time. As I mentioned, no personal information will be disclosed. That's comforting. So what are you trying to achieve with this article? To direct the public's gaze where it refuses to look, as if rejecting the very existence of prostitution. And how is that supposed to change anything? Well, it's much harder to deny a problem exists when you're looking right at it. I couldn't help noticing your heel had come off. Are you all right? Yes, I just tripped on those stupid cobblestones. I know exactly what you mean. Ruined one too many good pairs of good shoes the exact same way. You've been really helpful. Thank you for your time. Dirk must have developed the crime scene photos. I need the one of the victim to question the witnesses. Sexy lady, I like your style. <laughs> and you're gonna like mine when you see it. Give me some love, honey. Get away from me. All of you. 
Come on, lady. Roll with us. Get your dirty hands off. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> well, she's missing out. That's enough, you bastards. You'd better be gone before I count to three. Look, the Ash here wants the lady too. <laughs> Man, you're gonna get it for this. You talk too much. Come on, let's get out of here. Nice kick, miss. My name is... Thank you, but I can take care of myself. Excuse me, I have to go. What a temper. I have to admit, if not for him, I'd have been in trouble there. Next time, I need to be more careful. Now, off to Dirk to get that photo. Anna, I'm just about done with the photos. I think this is the one you're looking for. Great, I found a photo. Thank you. Do we know the victim's name yet? We're working on it. I'm off to the Cabaret Russo now. Okay, keep us informed.
I found a matchbox. Let's see. Odd. None of these designs match the victim's matchbox. Better put the whole box back where it belongs before any customers need matches. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me when this particular design was used for the matchboxes? Let me see the box. The designs change every few months. I've never seen this one, though. And I've been working here six years. Where'd you get it? From an unlucky gentleman. Could you take a look at his photo and maybe help me identify him? Of course. Have you ever seen this man? I don't think so. Sorry. Lots of people visit the cabaret. It's impossible to keep track of everyone. Maybe it is Kenneth, the owner, knows him. I already talked to Miss Kenneth. She doesn't. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be of any help. Oh, I'm at a dead end. Might as well get some rest before any new... Morning, Anna. About yesterday's murder. I'll need you to cover it. Will do, right after I visit the Kenneth Gallery. What for? To return something that doesn't belong to me. As long as I get my art... What the... Sven, it's just a cat. The office is no place for pets. Spend two minutes with Amy, and you'll change your mind. This thing has a name? As if it was a person? Get this stray away from me. Anna, you're just in time. Of course I am. In time for what? To contribute to a common cause. Helping with the anniversary. Common? That's personal, no doubt about it. You're too reserved, sweetheart. Don't act like you're above us. Ah, oh, you've convinced me. I see the light now. Thank you. I believe there's some confetti in the storage room. Would you mind bringing it over? You do realize I wasn't serious, right? Please, Anna. That room is so dusty. I'll cough my lungs out if I even get close to it. You're more used to that kind of mess. Maybe that wouldn't be such a bad thing. Sorry. I didn't catch that. On my way. I found confetti. We'll need more confetti than that. Then go and buy more. You've got all the time in the world. The anniversary is in two days. Blink and you'll miss it. We'll need to prepare invitations, assign presents. 
our decorations up, get cups, order catering, oh, coordinate costume cues, double check and see. All right, all right. Spare me the details. I should be halfway to the gallery already. No more time to spare. Morning, Iris. No. Could you hold? I'll be with you in a minute. I didn't get a chance to hand back the painting you gave me yesterday. It's merely a copy, but thanks anyway. You can put it over there. What's this? Let's have a closer look. The exact same matchbox design. Iris is taking a while. I found a newspaper. Set P.E. Detectives. Civil, corporate, and domestic investigations. Why would she need a detective? So what did you want, Miss Myers? Just don't tell me we're here to talk about your victim again. I was told this particular matchbox design was never used for handouts. Could you take a look at them? See if there's anything peculiar about them? It's a discarded variant of the design. How did you get hold of these? My instincts tell me you already know, Iris. The man in the photo was here. He was a detective, correct? I found this newspaper. Miss Myers, your accusations are beyond the pale. I won't tolerate such behavior here. Please show yourself out. Iris, please be reasonable. I'm just trying to figure out who the victim is. You just don't know when to stop, do you? I imagine you'd rather leave now than have security come and escort you out. All right. Go on, now. That was awfully unpleasant. There's no way she's not involved. There's no use trying to pump her for information right now. Might as well use the time to talk to the main witness, Gustav. I wonder how he's holding up after his mother's passing. Miss Myers, you carried bad luck around with you. I'm sorry to bother you, but there's a couple of things I need to ask you. But before that, how are you doing? It's very, uh, quiet. Mumsy would always come to me when it was quiet like this. Not anymore. Oh, you have questions about the uh, man from yesterday. Yes. Could you possibly tell me again what happened? I'd really appreciate it. I was working on the boulevard, and I noticed him 
almost immediately. He was moving very strangely, like a slow bug. He moved a little more and then stopped. So, by the time I got to him, the only thing left to do was call the police. Was there anybody else in the back street? Just a car nearby. As soon as I got to the back, the car uh, d drove away, fast. Do you remember any of the license plate, by any chance? I uh, wrote the whole license plate down. I need my glasses. Mumsy always helped me find them. Of course. I found the glasses. Found them. There you go. Thank you. Wait here, please. This is disturbing. Somebody is living in the past. His life really is falling apart. I got the plate number, but uh, I need some important information in return. Very important. How can I help? I, um... Oscar, when he worked for the police, where was his desk? You want to know where Oscar used to sit in the police station? It's very important. Right under Lieutenant Holler's office, next to the staircase. Interesting. Now, your license plate. Great. I found the car license number. Thank you, Gustav. You've been very helpful. Mumsy said good would always triumph over evil. Don't hesitate to call me. Gustav, I couldn't help but notice. All those newspapers with articles about Oscar. I hope you're not looking for him. He is very dangerous. Mumsy. Gustav, if you pursue this, you might end up dead too. Doesn't matter. Mumsy did everything for me. And I can't do anything for her. But I really think she'd prefer you didn't. I think you should... Go. Take care, Gustav. Time to tell Uli everything I know. He'll help me find information about the car and this detective agency. Thank you for your help, Uli. I can bend the rules, but there are limits. I'd rather your client be more careful. Hello, Miss Myers. I see fate has brought us together again. And might I say, you're looking lovely today. You're a go-getter, aren't you, Mr...? Mark Frost, at your service. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Frost. How do you know my name, Mr. Frost? Who doesn't know the famous Anna Myers? I'm so excited to meet you. How about dinner today? The Franciscana, perhaps? They have a pretty good wine list. I'll pass, Mr. Frost. Blunt as always. I love it. All right, well, another time. See you. I didn't know you knew each other. We don't, really. He just helped me fend off a couple of thugs. Who is this Marx Frost? He's an NDR operative. The Army Intelligence Service? What are they doing here? That's classified. I can't share the details. <laughs> You'd like to know more about him, wouldn't you? Is it connected to our case? <laughs> Disappointingly for you, no. I paid Gustav a visit today. Looks like he's having trouble letting things go. What do you mean? He's obsessed with revenge. On the upside, I'm doubtful he has any leads. What makes you say that? He's grasping at straws. Heartbreaking. But it's better that way. Remember the high heel from yesterday? 
It belongs to a girl. Her name's Susie. But the soles of the shoes are smooth. Looks like it's not her who stepped in the bloodstain. Still, we have to get a statement of her. Anything else? Yes. I think I've got something that might help us identify the victim. Petrus Kramer. Already done. He worked for ZPE detectives. Oh, I see. Does that give you any new leads? ZPE says he didn't have an active investigation going. However, he could have been working off the books. He might have been tracking down the murderer. That would make a thrilling story, but I privilege evidence over speculation. We bought in Petrus's work documents for Dirk to look at. There might be something there. Any findings, Dirk? A single deep knife wound to the stomach and one to the back, both done with the same weapon. Also, blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Could be from hitting the ground. Highly unlikely. The dent suggests a heavy blow, using something like the grip of a handgun. There are also other signs of blows to his face. That doesn't make much sense to me. What doesn't, exactly? The non-fatal wounds suggest torture. Probably trying to make the victim talk. Once they get the information they're after, they usually finish you off quickly, or let you go. Why would the assailant do neither of those? That's unusual. Maybe they just wanted the victim to suffer before they died? Could be. That would mean it was personal. Dirk, have you looked through Petrus's work documents? Not yet. I've been busy with the fingerprints from the crime scene. Everything is there. It's all yours. I found a check. A check from Iris Kniff made out to Petrus Kramer. She went out of her way to hide this. I wonder why. There are also a lot of receipts from restaurants around the area he was killed. By the way, Gustav saw a car fleeing the crime scene. He gave me this license plate number. Those are Italian plates. Correct. Can we identify the owner? Only if the owner ever violated traffic laws inside the country. You'll find the database in the cupboard.
got it. Helmut Grass, 315561 BE. Swiss, evidently living in Italy. Here, have a look. That could be our killer. I'll file a notice right away. Unless you've got people in the underworld, that won't be necessary. What do you mean? He was killed last winter. I saw his dead body myself. Damn it. Are you certain? Yes. He was connected to the murders at Riga Hotel and perished at Chima di Vren. Right. Helmut was killed by his own organization. The killer was never caught. Could be the same person who was driving his car. It's possible. Uli, it's for you. Yes? Where? I'm on my way. What's going on? There has been another murder. You should tag along. Is it connected to our case? Seems likely. The body was found in the house next door. Let's go. The body was found on Kurzgasse. That's just steps from the boulevard. I'll meet you there. All right. Dirk, you too. Maybe Gustav was right. Maybe I do bring bad luck wherever I go. What are you talking about? Her name is Susie. I interviewed her for the article I'm writing. Did she share anything that could have got her killed? No, but someone might have assumed she did. A single bullet wound to the chest. Time of death? Roughly the same time as Petrus Kramer. Maybe a bit earlier. That estimate doesn't make sense. Why not? Our interview was just after we'd investigated the scene of Petrus's murder. She looked perfectly alive, I can tell you that much. Are you sure this is the same woman? Y yes Dirk will be able to pin it down. Until then, we should look around. Maybe my estimate's off. Air temperature and humidity can mess with these things. There must be something here that connects the murders. We can't know that for sure yet. Let's be guided by the evidence. No gun, but I found a cartridge case. Petrus Kremer had a gun, right? Sorry I'm late. Give me the cartridge case, would you? I'll run an analysis and let you know if it was fired from Petrus's gun. That's strange. What? Her ID reads Mitzi Vigit. She already had a different name that she went by professionally. Why have another one? She could have been up to something illegal. I'll check whether the document was forged. Anything else that seems odd about the passport? She appears to have a husband. She might have been hiding her money-making methods from him. Maybe he found out and things got out of control. I wonder where the owner of this apartment is. What do you mean? 
There are lots of items here suggesting a single man lived here for a while. Worn out men's trousers, shoes, and these dirty things. So vulgar. As I recall, the apartment belonged to Marie Paget, and she had no heirs. Looks like some crook took advantage of the situation. Hmm. Anna, you have to see this. Take a look at this rope. The rope was cut. Someone was tied up here. Also this candle. It's been used, but there's no sign of any wax around. That means... Dear, I've got a fingerprint. Thanks, I'll take care of it. This case is more complex than I originally thought. We should return to the back street. Are we looking for anything in particular? The candle is what's bothering me right now. I'm not sure I quite understand how it's connected, but let's do one more search. I found a candlestick. There it is. Give it to Dirk to check for fingerprints and traces of blood. A candlestick? Yes. I think the detective was hit by it. How did you know it would be here? There was a candle on the floor in the room. It had been used, but I couldn't see any candle wax on the table. Maybe Dirk will find traces of blood on it, too. Right. I'll give it to him. We should visit Mitzi's place. Find out why she introduced herself as Susie. Good idea. Let's go. Why is I've been asking around about you? You interested? Hello? It's open! Good afternoon, officer. How may I help? Uh, how? My God! You look just like her. Anna, what's going on? Do you know Mitzi Viget? Yes, she's my twin sister. Anna, please don't tell Lulu. She thinks I'm leaving here alone. I'm afraid it doesn't matter now. I have some bad news. No. Mitzi was killed. We're trying to figure out what happened. What? I had a feeling this was about her. We've always had this special bond, but recently we drifted apart. We were... <laughs> I am sorry for your loss. I personally promise you we'll get to the bottom of this. We're building a timeline. Could I ask where you were yesterday between 12 and 2 p.m.? Anna must have told you what I do for a living. I was with a client at the time. Do you happen to know the client's name? I'm afraid not. Most clients don't share their names. What about your sister? 
Was she working at the time? She did have a regular client. They would meet at 12 p.m. Two or three times a week. Whenever I asked about the man, she dodged the question. She seemed almost scared. She didn't say much about him, but I'm guessing he was dangerous. Do you have any details that might help us track him down? I'm sorry, I've told you literally everything I know about the man. Mitzi was married. Could you tell us about her husband? Johann Stumpf. He was a miner. He worked at Riedhof. They lived together in a village. It was built near the mine to house the miners. The site was shut down in the 1920s. After that, he got a job as a locomotive fireman on the Bern Zurich train. They couldn't afford an apartment in Zurich. That's why he was living in that little village. After every trip, he would stay here with Mitzi. Check her belongings for a notepad. It should have his other address in it. I found a notepad. This must be the notepad Susie was talking about. Let's see. Found it. Johann, to Birkenhof, Eugstertal. I'll have some officers take him into custody, assuming he hasn't fled. We should talk to his employers at the train station. They might know where to find him. Good idea. We'll also check if his work schedule lines up with the murders. Here, have a little water. It's going to be all right. Thank you, Anna. I'll skim the notepad as well. There might be something about the mystery client. Good thinking. We'll find out who's behind this crime, Susie. We're grateful for your time. Stay strong. Do you believe her? I don't think she's being completely honest with us. Finding Johan is key to the investigation. The black fingerprint. There is a good chance it's his, given that he shovels coal for a living. Johan also hasn't reported that his wife is missing. Either way, the man has a lot of explaining to do. I've got an article due soon. I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done with it. Of course. I'd better hammer out the article before Sven starts breathing down my neck. All right, the text's ready. Now for the photos. Hmm, which one would be better? Splendid. Sven should be pleased. Anna, come in. I was all set to publish another article instead. Excuse the slight delay. I've had a lot of investigative work lately. Don't forget which type of work it is that pays the bills. Let's see that article. Uh huh. Yes. I don't understand. It's not finished. I've stretched the information I had as much as I could. I don't think it's enough. We can't just make stories up. We've got standards to uphold. There must be something you could add. I could shoehorn some fiction into it. Do you prefer werewolves or killer bees? Very funny, Anna. 
I let you have your way with the Oscar Havel case. And now, those bastards from Ragnarsa are reaping all the benefits. Sven, please, don't start. I will never write a word about Oscar. And if you have a problem with that, you might as well fire me. Don't overreact. I'm just telling you that we need to make a splash. Whether it's Oscar or something else, I don't care. That reminds me. How is the prostitution article coming along? It's coming. I've already conducted an interview for it. I'll need to find more sources before it's ready to publish, though. Don't be too long over it. We're already losing market share to those rats at the Ragnarsa. By the way, do you happen to know why Hilda seems so wound up lately? Mm, no. Maybe she's found herself a boyfriend. You think? Can you find out? I'm sure she'd appreciate it if you asked her that yourself. I'll leave that one to you. Good night, Sven. It will take some time for Uli to find Johan. I wonder how Iris is. She should have calmed down by now. Maybe I'll pay her a visit. The Zuri Metzgete cycling race is coming up this Friday. Good morning to you, too. Eike Stroman was one of the favorites to win the race. He's won three international competitions this year alone, but he just got injured. Find out everything you can. We need to write about this as soon as possible. Where did this happen? On Utiki Street. On it. So much to do, so little time. Bit late to the party, I presume. Let's see if there's anything left I could use as material for the article. I found a letter. Kiesner. I've seen that name before. I believe it's Ernestine's last name. Maybe she'll know something. The bicycle's wrecked. I'd be surprised if he's in much better shape. I should take a photo of the smashed up bike and head to the hospital. Maybe there'll be someone I could interview about all this. gentleman looks like a cyclist could start by taking a photo please no photos I'm afraid that can't allow that even for you miss Myers you're welcome to return later when he wakes up how is his condition too early to tell we're still running tests I hope everything turns out fine one more thing Ernestine I found this letter where the accident took place could you take a look at it it has your last name on it Right? Oh, it has to be for my daughter. Georgette works here, too. She's a paramedic. I'll pass it on to her. Thanks. No problem. I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know when Mr. Stroman is able to talk. I'll do that. Time to write my article. There. The 
draft's ready. Let's see how the photo turned out. Not my best work. Can't expect perfection when I'm so pressed for time. Have you seen Amy? I left her in my office, behind closed doors. Oh, how did it get in here? Where's my article? Is this it? No interview, no details. And this photo is... We need Stroman's face, not some random pile of scrap. We're not allowed to take photos of him at the moment. He's in surgery right now. My source from the hospital will let me know when he's up, and I'll go and talk to him. Fair enough. It'll do. For now. Should I grab the cat on my way out? I'll do it myself. Go on now. Where was I? Oh, right. On my way to the gallery. Miss Myers, I thought I made it clear that you are not welcome here. There have been developments in the murder case, and it's beyond reasonable doubt that you're involved in some way. With all due respect, Miss Kniff, it's in your own best interests to cooperate. Am I supposed to feel threatened by all this legalese? We know that you hired Petrus Kremer to spy on someone. We found your check in his documents. Here. You're putting me in grave danger. Who are you afraid of? They probably assume I've already told you everything anyway. So there's nothing to lose. Just let me get this bull sorted first. Can I help? What are you looking for, exactly? I'm looking for the head of this bull. It must have rolled off somewhere. It's rather a mess around here. I found the bull's head. Here it is. Attach it to the bull, please. Would you mind carrying it over there? No problem. Thank you, Miss Miles. About Petrus, things weren't supposed to end up like this. 
Ever since the police failed to arrest Oscar, I've been fearing for my life. So you hired a detective to take matters into your own hands, you might say. That's right. Petrus called me the morning before his death. I was told he had news and we arranged a meeting at my office. He never showed up. I'm confused. You said I'm putting you in danger. Who are you afraid of? Instead of Petrus, somebody else came. I've never seen anyone like her. A strange Goliath of a woman. A woman? About two meters tall. Her skin plastered with scars and tattoos. The closest I'd come to such people was in my ethnography classes back at university. My God. My best guess is that she's from South America, possibly a member of the Abipons tribe. What happened next? She had a terrible accent, but she made it very clear. If I continue looking for Oscar or tell anybody about her, I'm as good as gone. How frightening. Did she leave afterwards, or...? Not immediately. Did she do anything else? During the conversation, she leafed through several art books off my shelves. Did you notice which books she went through? Not all of them, but she definitely read part of the Dada Almanac. Is the book still here? She threw it over there somewhere. I haven't got round to clearing up after her. I've been keeping busy with work instead, trying to forget it ever happened, you know? That's understandable, but we should find the book now. I found the Zurich Atlas. Is there anything special about this book? It was open. Did the woman from the Abbey poems go through this book? I'm not sure. Several pages are missing. What? But it's an extremely rare work of history. Do you happen to know what was discussed in those pages? Let me see, please. Does this barbarian hold nothing sacred? This is the last copy in the world. Was there anything special about the missing pages? I can't remember exactly. Something regarding old communication systems. Damn it. Oh, here's the Dada Almanac. Thanks. I'll have to borrow it for forensics. Just be gentle with it. It's also pretty rare. Great, I found a Dada Almanac. When will I get my book back? I'll send it for priority processing. You'll have it back before you know it. You've made the right decision by coming clean about this. Good grief. What have I got myself into? Please find them before it's too late. We will. I'll get this to our forensics expert immediately. He will dust it for prints. Anna, you're just in time. We've got news. One of the fingerprints from the scene belongs to Susie Viggett. She's already in custody. I'm going to talk to her right now. You coming? Yes, let's go. What about Johan? He wasn't home. We're still looking for him. None of his co-workers seem to know his whereabouts. Damn it. Well, we'd better go and talk to Susie. Anna, thank God. You've come to get me out of here? They're not telling me anything. 
It's really hard to help someone when they're not being completely honest with me, Susie. Would you like to start over? I, I don't know what to tell you. Just be straight with me, Susie darling. Let's talk about the day Mitzi died. And please, don't skip any details. I already told you everything. I was working at my usual place. I had one client. Afterwards, I met you for the interview. Had you seen Johan that day? No, no. He wasn't supposed to be back until the very end of the week. Did your sister tell you anything? I knew that she was going to meet her secret client. That's all the contact I had with her that day. Did you enter the place where your sister met her client? What? Of course not. We found your fingerprint there. It uh, can't be. Susie, I can't help you if you're not being honest with me. I already told you everything. Susie, leave me be. We're just trying. I think it's clear, Anna. Miss Vigget doesn't need any help. Uh, let's go. Have you searched the hotel? I just did an initial check. We've sealed the room for now. Why? Given everything we know now, I think we should go over it again. That pretty face could pay your bills here. Let's start with this room and then go on to the bathroom. All right. I found a suitcase. Take a look. A coal-stained suitcase. Chances are it belongs to Johan, but Susie said he wasn't supposed to be here. Wouldn't be the first time she's lied to us. Place it on the bed. Could Susie have been planning her escape? There is a pair of tickets. She wasn't going to do it alone. Who was the second ticket meant for? Could be for Johan, but we can't be certain. There's only women's clothing in the case. That's all. Anything noteworthy around the nightstand? Well, just a photo of the twins. Looks like it was taken at Mitzi's wedding. May I? Great. I found a photo. Mitzi looks happy. She certainly does. Can I hold on to this photo for a while? All right. Doesn't look that useful as evidence. Shall we head into the bathroom? I found a handkerchief. A shaving kit. Still wet. Must have been used not too long ago. Could Johan have been here recently? If so, why didn't he grab a ticket from the suitcase? We can't be sure there were only two tickets to begin with. Good point. Also, I found a handkerchief with what looks like a bloodstain. Let's get back to Dirk with the handkerchief. 
We could have enough evidence to put Susie away. Give me a moment. I killed a man! You have to arrest me! What are you waiting for? I'm Johann Stump, and I killed a man. Is that so? Take him away. Looks like we're about to get some answers. Let's pass the handkerchief on to Dirk and talk to Johann afterwards. Uli, I can't go to the hotel just yet. It'll have to wait a little longer. No, no. We just wanted to turn in some evidence. Oh, very well then. Looks like blood. Can you compare it with the blood samples from the crime scene? Yes, but it'll take some time. Thank you. Time to confront Johan. You go ahead. I'll join you later. What? Why? There's something we've missed, and it can't wait. But we've got the man, and he already confessed. What else do you need? If I were Johan, I wouldn't have confessed just yet. There's just not enough evidence to put him away. That doesn't mean he didn't do it. You're absolutely right, Uli. But there are some loose ends I need to tie up right now. We're still not sure who was living at the crime scene. What if he was involved too? There's no harm in checking one last time before we close the case. We don't have much time. Try to finish up there quickly. Just keep Johan and Mitzi here. I'll be back before you know it. Susie. Right. Susie. I'll be quick. Let's go over this one last time. I found a crossword. What do we have here? Petrus must have suspected Oscar was living here. Did Oscar get Petrus before he could tip the police off about him? I should swing by the back street, just to be certain. What are you doing here, Max? So you're involved in this as well? It's not quite what you think. Does Uli know? I don't care who you answer to. The army, the NDR... Anna. ...are the bloody organization. You will have... Anna. What? First of all, Uli wasn't lying. I don't have anything to do with the murders. Prior to the accident, Kremer took some photos of my client. They must never see the light of day. I've been through his house, his office. Hell, I even went to the police. But those photos are nowhere to be found. So I'm here, grasping at straws, trying to prevent a genuine catastrophe. What did the photos contain? I'm not revealing sensitive information to a journalist of all people. I can't help you find something if I don't know what you're looking for. Trust you to find literally the only situation where I'm forced to refuse your company. It's those same photos that brought you to the hotel, isn't it? I see. I can't even begin to describe how high the stakes are here. But of course. I'm sure the public would be devastated if some crooks were to pay their due. There's more to it than you think. Hmm. I dare say. Kremer's secretary told me he had a second wallet, made of alligator skin. I think the photos might be in it. Mind if I have a look around, too? Can I stop you? No.
I found a wallet. Well, that was easy. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what's this? My photos? It's Oscar Harvel. Iris Kniff hired Petrus to track him down. The Dada killer. So the police still haven't found him? No, but Petrus's murder might give us new leads. There's also a camera film. Oh, is that Gustafsson? That must be it. May I? Not so fast. I'm not sure I want to see him governing the city. The public should know. This doesn't define him as a public servant. It's just a harmless hobby. Harmless hobby? Let's make a deal. I keep the photos, but you're free to dig up dirt on him. The deal seems awfully skewed in your favor. And I help you find Oscar. And what exactly makes you think you can do that? Let's just say there's more to me than you think. Hmm. I dare say. I take it we have a deal. That's what I was after. You're a star. As a thank you, I'd be honored to take you out. Not before you prove your worth and find Oscar. <laughs> I love a good challenge. Thanks for your help. And now I must bid you farewell. For now. I've got to hurry now. I've found an important piece of evidence. It's the handwriting of the man Mitzi visited. We can run a graphology test on it. Thank you. Uli, are there any examples of Oscar's handwriting around here? There's definitely something in my office. You think Oscar is behind all this? We'll see. Hand me the evidence and I'll get to work on it. Let's go to my office and search for some reports. I haven't had time to go through all the papers since you did. Lend me a hand, would you? You'll find things faster that way. Of course. I found a report. Here is something with Oscar's signature on it. Will this do? I believe so. Let's get this to Dirk. I've also found something. That should be more than enough. Let's head back to forensics. Anna, give them to Dirk. Anna? Do you mind if I watch? Be my guest. I'll try and explain things as I go. Here's the first match. Ah, one matching letter. Another match. Letters decreasing in size, a rare feature. It usually means...
Presumably the writer's an antisocial narcissist, which means they'd have trouble admitting to their own mistakes. So Oscar was there. What bearing does that have on our case? After all, Johan has confessed. Let's go to your office. Please have Johan and Susie brought in too. And then I'll share everything I know. All right, I'll get them. You can go wait in my office. Thank you, Lua. We'll take it from here. Do we really need these handcuffs? I very much doubt they'll give us the slip. It's protocol. I... Just for Susie. Your hands cuffs stay on. Thank you, Uli. So, Anna, you believe Johan is not guilty? I'm certain he isn't. We've taken certain things for granted from the very beginning of the investigation. We've been misled, as most people would have been. But I see how it happened. It was an easy mistake to make in circumstances like these. Seeing a young life snuffed out. It's always heartbreaking when a life is cut short, even if the victim's rather a lost soul, like Miss Viget. Anna, where are you going with this? You're being far too cryptic for me. I'm getting there. Hold on just a minute. Let's start from the top. The morning of that tragic day. Oscar had flowers sent to Mitzi, requesting a meeting at 10 a.m. We confirmed it was Oscar's handwriting on the card. I also had an appointment with Susie at noon in her hotel room. I was going to interview her about her way of life. Hold on. How do you know Mitzi was supposed to meet Oscar at 10 a.m.? I found the card in the hotel room next to the bouquet. Here it is. Show me the card, please. Uli. Remind us of the estimated time of Petrus Kremer's death. Noon. I was at the hotel at noon. As I was walking down the corridor, a man bumped into me. No mistaking me for someone else. I didn't say it was you. Yet. I... I... Your hands left coal marks on my sleeve. Let's go through this chronologically. It took me a while to connect the dots. Susie arrives at Oscar's hideout at 10 a.m. They're getting down to business, so to speak. Petrus is spying on them. He knows it will take some time, but he's used to waiting. Everything would have ended peacefully. But then Oscar's accomplices arrived. Accomplices? If the evidence I found doesn't lie, then he got rather chummy with some very dangerous people. They took Petrus to their hideout. They tied him to a chair and used... Their bruises on his face. Persuasive techniques to make him talk. Right. Once they had everything they wanted from Petrus, they knocked him out. Most likely with the candlestick we found in the back street. Shortly after, Petrus regains consciousness. He musters his strength and tries to flee. Where did you find him, Mitzi? Was he in the room? On the street? He was looking for something. Perhaps the cartridge case. a knife. I couldn't let him get away, not after what he did to Susie. I just did what I thought had to be done. Murderer! Sweetie, stop! Stop, stop, stop. I'm lost. So, which one of the twins was killed? Uli, you remember the photo we found? Of the two sisters at a wedding? What am I looking at, exactly? 
Can you tell Susie from Mitzi? Mitzi's the one with the ring and the wedding dress on the left. All right. What about the gesture she's making? What do you... Oh, my... You're sacrificing yourself for your wife. Please. It's your decision, Uli. Nua? Nua? Take them away. File a release form for Mitzi Bigot. Susie. What? You meant to say, Susie, sir. Mitzi is dead. Right, Susie. Just release her, okay? Yes, sir. I think you made the right decision, Uli. I hope so. How long can they put him away for? I believe he can plead self-defense. The detective was armed, and he'll probably be held accountable for Susie's murder. So it could be five years for Johan. Maybe less, given early release. I see. There's one more thing you need to know. Iris Kenif had a visitor. Could you have this book dusted for Prince? All right. The Dada Almanac. We're going full circle, aren't we? The visitor was a very dangerous woman. I met her five years ago in a small Italian town. Her name's Dara Bigua. Two meters tall, bulky, a tattoo on her face, scars. Given her unusual looks, it shouldn't take too long to find her. I'm pretty sure she's not in the Zurich police database. But if anything ever happens, you'll have this print to arrest her with. On what basis? She's a wanted fugitive in Italy. I see. We'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your help, Anna. You really blew this case wide open. Just playing my part, Lieutenant. so far Getting some good news or bad news anything readers will buy I finished it Whew, that's a lot of text and don't you dare throw anything away all right all right don't worry you're going by the way Anna. yes Good job, detective. What are you looking for, Dara? In the year 18...